Hey there, uh, this time just want to share with you guys another program you can use um, efficiently with your XP desktop. So here's a sample of it, which uh, by the way you can place anywhere on your screen if you want to. So I can put it he here or here or there. Let's see. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that or here, uh, it really depends on you guys and how you would want your desktop to look like. So in my case, to post or set as your desktop background your notes or to-do list like this one. So what to do? Thank all my subscribers for their continued support, which I'm glad to do, guys. Um, really, thank you for all your support and um, I do hope you would like this video and my future videos because I'll be uploading more soon. So anyway, so this is um, my to-do list. As you can see, um, let me just move this. Just having a hard time moving it. So anyway, I also have the date and time here. Okay, and it will just be on my desktop background. So as I open certain files like so so this is the same file that I had done okay if I open um, Firefox it will just be on my background so it's really cool so to do this you'll have to download a freeware take note a freeware program called Samurai and I'll just put the link in the description and let's check it out Okay, to be able to do this, all you have to do is go to your system tray icon, this one, and then right click, and then go to edit config file, alright? And this window should pop up. Like so. As you can see, this is my design area, this is my what to do, or my to-do list and then my date and time as you had seen on my background so we're going to add another file or another text if you if you will so I have here a sample sample text and I have here do my homework okay so just save that and then we're going to open the same file here so right click on your design area then go to add text file okay you go to um, your bunch of tabs here so go to source and then find your file so it's sample there we go sample open and go to display and then you can basically edit your text you can put an underline a shadow um, color of the shadow should be gray or any color if you want so I'll go with green okay green and then you can select the font you can select the font size if you want it to be bold okay and then place this anywhere you want let's say I want it here there we go can also move this a bit because this whole area is your desktop as you can see so I'll just put it here there we go and then I'll just put it here okay and then if you're satisfied with this you just go to save okay to save this to another config file let's say you're making a new one just go to file and then go to save as and then it will be saved as a config file like so so I'm just going to say my config 2 save okay so this should be um, seen on my desktop so to do that you go to your system tray icon again right click and then select config file we're going to check my config 2 like so 
and there you go so this is do my homework what to do and um, basically that's it it's how you can turn your desktop into a big post-it note or a big what to do board um, if you want it to be called like that or anyway you get my point so you're just going to edit it a bit so I can do that there we go so I'm just going to save that minimize and then back to the system tray icon right click and then reload config and there we go so this is my to-do list my note to my homework and my date and time so what else you can add let's see right click you can add your console program drive space if you're using your laptop your laptop battery memory performance um, monitor your email um, uptime this is cool uptime you can check how long your computer has been on so I'm just going to put it here you can select the font if you want to as I had said so I'll change this to Tempo Sans 14 like so and if you are satisfied with your settings just click save minimize again system tray icon and then reload oops I have to change the font color to white for it to be seen so color white there we go and then save it you can snap it to the grid if you want to you can also use some bit background if you want so it really depends on you you can also design your background color let's say green so it really depends on you guys and how you would want your design area to look like if you're satisfied with your settings, just remember to save and then reload. So to be able to reload, right click your system tray icon and click reload. And there's our uptime. If you noticed, um, if your text is cut or let's say uh, text wrapped, all you have to do there is um, increase your space or basically just uh, resized your text it's that simple so it's really fun to design your desktop and um, as you can see it's customizable so that's cool so if you're satisfied just saved and reload that's all you have to do save reload save reload and all your notes are going to be okay so reload and there you go so basically I'm just going to arrange my icons here here's my what to do list my uptime date and time and my note so it really depends on you guys and how you would want your desktop to look like so you can place your what to do list here a grocery list here especially if you're using your laptop and um, you can have the post-it notes but I don't know I think this is um, space saving because as you can see um, if you open a window basically uh, it's in the background so it won't get in the way of what you are doing so there you go it's another neat application you can use with your um, desktop and to all my subscribers again uh, thanks for the sub appreciate it guys and um, if you have any question at all just message me here on youtube i'll get to them right away if i can and also check out my youtube partners they're on my channel there you go another application and thank you for watching this video as always just have fun